वेलकम टू द कूलेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ पाइथन दिस इज वेट फ्यूम्स एंड आई एम योर होस्ट सार्थक इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फेबिनोकी नंबर यूजिंग वाई लूप एंड फॉर लूप सो वॉट इज एग्जैक्टली अ फेबिनोकी नंबर सो फिबोनाकी नंबर इज अ नंबर विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो एंड वन बट द नेक्स्ट डिजिट्स इज जस्ट द सम ऑफ प्रिसीडिंग टू सो जीरो प्लस वन इज वन One plus one, the preceding two. One plus one is two. Then preceding two is two plus one is three. Then three plus two is five. Then eight. Then thirteen, and so on. So this is Fibonacci number, and we are going to create this one. So as I have told you, it will start from zero and one. So we obviously need a number one, which is zero, a number two, which is one. Okay. then we need to create a list a empty list a list in which n1 n and n2 are always there so if i print this f you can see we have 0 and 1 which is the initial 2 we have to create all other series so we need to use let's first use while loop so while i is less than we need to Tell how many times we want. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say I just want to have uh, seven times. So I will give eight because i is less than eight. So it will run for seven times. So I will define i is equal to one for now. Okay. So let's see how it's going to look. So if I say print of i, and obviously we need to give the colon here. and it's a infinite loop because we have not uh, given an i plus equal to 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's good we exactly want this one but what we need we need to append this f list which is a fibonacci list what we need to append we need to append n1 plus n2 so let's just see after this what will be the result of this f list so this print statement is not indented so it's not a part of while loop so run it and 0 1 1 1 1 1 every time but we don't want this so what i will do i will create an n3 which is just the sum of preceding two okay and then here i will append n3 but now we want n1 is equal to n2 and n2 is equal to n3 so what's going on here we just can see by checking this like n1 is then n1 then we have to say n2 is comma n2 so let's run this and you can see every time it it rate n1 and n2 values changes so n1 is 1 1 here then 1 2 then 2 3 then 3 5 then 5 8 and 8 13 okay so this means every time we run it we get a fibonacci number run it and 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 which is a fibonacci number so 2 3 5 8 who do we appreciate fibonacci <laughs> so this is good and this line who do we appreciate kind of statement or a rhyme i have heard from a mathematician his name is arthur benjamin and you need to read his book and he is an awesome human calculator type of thing so this is good and we have created this with the while loop and we just want to make same thing with for loop so how we can do the same thing we need to say here for i in then we need to use the range function starting from 0 or is yes we can start from 0 and then go till 8 and we don't want any increment of i and even we don't want any initialization of i same thing will work and yes we get the same result with just a simple changes in the code to create this with for loop so if you have like this episode please go and share this video with your friends if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bit films on facebook twitter instagram linkedin we will meet in the next episode to start 
creating the pattern of stars which will be like a pattern of right triangle then inverted right triangle and much more thing are interesting things are coming up with python so stay tuned and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye